Moving up to college now, we're crossing our fingers that Alabama A&M will play a football game this weekend at Jackson State. We know the narrative. COVID-19 has been a thorn in the side five times this season for the Bulldogs' opponents. But let's remain optimistic. The Bulldogs are trying to play their first game in a month. Coach Manor speaking to the media today and admitted that his team will be a little rusty due to the lack of games played. But it doesn't mean that the Bulldogs won't come out with a high level of intensity as they begin their hunt for the SWAC East crowd. Coach Manor explained. The intensity to be there just because of the environment, uh, the magnitude of the game, ESPN, um, you know, our, our second game playing, the guys are just so excited to be back. So the intensity, the, pass, the passion, uh, all that will be there. You know, I don't have to give a locker room speech this week. You know, all I got to do is open the doors and let them out. And uh, and those guys will be fired up and ready to go. So can we cause turnovers? Can we get after that quarterback? Can we shut down the run the way we did against Sacramento State? And if we can do that, we have a great chance of winning the football game. Awaiting A&M is Jackson State. Deion Sanders and his team are trying to bounce back after dropping back-to-back -back games. Last week, the Tigers gave up nearly 500 yards of offense to the Southern Jaguars in a 20-point loss on ESPN. The Bulldogs have the ability to put up gaudy numbers offensively with a quill glass, tossing the rock around to guys like Brian Jenkins Jr., a dude for Ty Ibrahim, and Xavier Moore. Coach Sanders is fully aware of the Bulldogs' offensive abilities and told us why it is important for his defense to have a great start against the guys in maroon and white. They can get the job done. We got to do the best that we can to get the job done. But we got to play ball, man. We got to challenge some people. From the first play of the game on, we did not challenge anybody and make them earn everything, and we got to challenge them. They definitely have an offensive-minded coach, a quarterback that can spin it, some guys that can go down there and go get it. We have to challenge people, people on every single play and make them earn it. Saturday's game kicks off at 2 p.m. You can watch it live on ESPN. Now do it for the WZDX Sports Report on this Tuesday evening. I'm Mo Carter. Let's send it back to Connor in the studio.